Hey people, how you doing? This is your boy Michael Larry in the building. I hope everybody's doing fine, keeping safe wherever you are. So you know what? I just wanted to talk about football today since I'm a big football fan and I support both England and Ghana. But I think these days I'm supporting the latter most. Anyway, well, how did y'all feel about the, uh, the, the Ghana-Portugal game yesterday? I felt like Ghana was robbed, you know? Don't you think so? I mean... There's a couple goals that should have stood, but it was. I think it was good that Portugal scored first because it kind of gave Ghana the vim, the vim to you know get up and start attacking. And then you know afterwards, obviously we got the equaliser, and then we kind of like you know slept off a bit, and then Portugal came back and <laughs> yeah one in the end but um yeah it was it was a great game and I, I you know personally i think i'm not without being biased i think that that was the uh, greatest game of the tournament so far you know apart from you know i think there's other games such as the saudi versus argentina game that was great as well you know beautiful game and also the japan versus germany game you know these underdogs really did great but i feel like the ghana portugal game nails it for me anyway just wanted to talk about England. Why England? Anyway, England is very dear to my heart. Being the country of my birth as well. I'm from Barking. You know about that thing from Barking. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm from. I'm from Barking. And uh, yeah, you know, so, you know, very dear to my heart. I love, I love, you know, I love the country. I love the UK as a whole. Um, yeah heritage everything um but you know obviously like my parents are Ghanaian as well that's you know some of you may, may already know so it's kind of like a, uh, you know split emotions really you know sometimes I don't even know who to support <laughs> that's what it comes down to so yeah I mean it, it's cool I just feel like when it comes to England you know I, lo I love England I always want England to do well at tournaments you know as is evident in you know the last tournament we had the Euro uh, the Euro 2020 uh, tournament that got moved to 2021 because of COVID, but we experienced a lot of problems with, with with the Euros because guess what the final against Italy you all remember what happened when you know the boys you know and when I say the boys I mean you know the black boys or brown skin boys you know um, Bukayo Saka, Jaden Sancho. Marcus Rashford, you know, missed their penalties. We all saw how they were treated after after the match, and you know, all like you know the the racist chants and you know and everything. You know, it 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 wasn't a great time. And I must admit, you know, from speaking to people, you know, a lot of people are like they're done with England. They're done with supporting England because they can't support a team that's 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 racist. Whose fans are racist and stuff. You know what I mean? It it doesn't. It, it was it was it, it was very vile. It was very vile, and you know I just wanted to, yeah, say that it kind it kind of made like you know the love kind of go down a bit. You know I, I love England. I want England to do well. I was so happy with the six two win the other day over Iran and that, but you know with, with with issues such as racism still being you know a big thing today. You know in the modern day UK. You know it's it's, it's just it's just not right. You know what I mean? You know. I think right now we've got to a point where, you know, we live in modern, uh, modern Britain, you know, black, Asian, white, you know, we all just need to come together. We all, we're all one people. We all bleed the same. We all do do things kind of the same way, really. It's just different blends. You know what I mean? So why can't we just kick racism out of everything? Not just even kick it out of sport or kick it out of football. You know, just kick it out of everything and let's all, you know, try and live together i think we're, we're doing pretty well so far but you know there's still you know room for like you know improvement room room for change you know room for change that's what i want to you know reiterate you know today and you know highlight the importance that we need to kick racism them out i know we like you know the world cup there's been so many controversies there's been so many issues uh talking about obviously like the equality sort of stuff and that sort of thing uh, with the, 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 the migrant you know the, the migrant worker issues and stuff like that but I feel like racism hasn't been talked about enough this time you know because I'm, are they trying to say it's not a problem still or something it is still a big problem you know and I definitely support the you know the kick it out initiative you know and I feel like it needs to be talked about a bit more as well you know alongside all the other issues 
you know, that are affecting, you know, football and, you know, just life as a whole. So, yeah, just wanted to talk about that today. You know, obviously there's no place for racism, you know, in football or any other, or any other sport or, you know, even in general terms of life, you know, that we live in. I just want to, you know, love, love everyone. Love everyone. Why can't we all just live as one? Curb all racism out and just live together as one. Enjoy in, enjoy life. Enjoy things such as sport. You know, all come together, all sing together at the stadiums and things like that. At the end, at the end of the day, sports and all that, it's just a game at, at the end of the day. You know what I mean? We've got other things to, really important things to think about, such as our families and everything. So, yeah, just wanted to talk about that today, you know, and also want to wish England, you know, really well. You know, I hope they go all the way. You know, we're playing the USA today and, you know, hope for a great result. I hope it is like a bit another big scoreline again. <laughs> you know, I mean, America, you know, the USA have really improved, you know, I must admit. But, you know, I feel like it's going to, you know, the three Lions have got this. So let's get behind our boys through thick and thin. Thin, thick and thin. Let's remember that. You know what I mean? We need to support them through the good times and bad times. That's what we needed to do last year. And we fell short with that. So let's all get behind the boys and let's go all the way. Uh, go England. Come on England. And come on Ghana too. <laughs> yeah, so bless up people. I hope you enjoyed my little talk, you know, and uh, yeah, ha hope everyone has a great day. Take care of yourselves. Bless up.